What's up everyone? Welcome in another vlog. Uh, my name is Chris and this is my channel Chris the Official and this is my official channel where I'm putting some vlogs and other stuff that are not connected with other channels that you can find out uh, in my other all, all other channels um, place on my channel uh, page. So yeah, uh, today I just wanted to um, tell you and this is something, well, uh, I could actually put it into some how to uh, into how to be better playlist, but I think I will talk about it in a little bit uh, bigger way later. Um, but you know, I just wanted to say that uh, my goals, as I said, they are quite uh, random for some people, and those are my life goals. These are things that I w I want to do. Uh, so, you know, it's sometimes hard to um, to make people get used to your goals, especially when you had some completely other mind in the past. So, for example, I was like uh, a person that no one would ever connect with goals that I'm having right now. And uh, it's hard to actually get out from that, you know, box uh, we've written that boring, soft, guy that that is it's written on it um some people could never actually i think see me with some attractive girls some people would never see me with some cool cars because uh, well i'm not from the very rich family and you know with all this uh sometimes gives me some problem with motivation because well uh if you are surrounded by people who are believing in you, who are th telling you you can do it, you are great, and you are never giving up, uh, that's great. But actually, you always probably will find some people who are naysayers, who uh, will tell you, well, it's impossible. Or as my friend was talking about my plans with some mate of him, of his, uh, and that person, I have no idea who, who that person is, and he didn't tell me, tell that person that these goals are mine. Uh, but that person told to him, well, life will verify his dreams. And he answered, well, you know, if someone is going to get it, then he is, he is that person. Uh, that's very motivating. That's true friend. You know, that's someone who believes in you and who trust that you can make it but sometimes we are having problems with motivation and what then and my idea and something that i'm using is actually finding someone who already achieved it and be proud of your goal all right so um for example i'm not sure if you know dan bilzerian tony to tony or Travers bainon I'm sure that they are much more people like that. I'm not talking about Hugh Hefner from Playboy, but yeah, uh, he also. These people are rich. These people are living their lives as they want. And, well, they, they love girls. I do as well. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm maybe I'm not going to treat girls in some ways like they do, because uh, I'm kind of person that respects women and sometimes there is some disrespect or, uh, you know, some actions that are not fine. Like Dan Bizarian throw, threw uh, off from the roof a porn star and she sprained her ankle or something like that. She was injured, so that was stupid. But, um, and yeah, you, and you can help, hate, you can hate me for that. Because, you know, each today round, I, I want to leave like them and that's my goal but the point is that what motivates me is that I am proud of my goals that's me you don't like me fine you don't have to watch me you don't have to talk to me if you accept me then I will accept you as well and maybe I will be able to help you or maybe I will be able to make some dreams of you true because you know why not uh, if someone is helping me and someone is good to me, I'm and definitely I'm sometimes even writing down names of those people to not forget that someone is actually helping me and in getting to my goals. 
uh, because I'm trying to be as loyal person as it's possible. And you know, uh, don't be scared of motivating yourself by, for example, just following them, following that person, those people on Instagram. Like, like you no, know, I'm checking out Instagram of the views area, Tony Tony or uh, Travers Bay, no? And I'm even sometimes showing it to some of my friends because, you know, this is what motivates me. And there is no such thing like bad motivation. Unless there is some pathology like uh, killing people or something like that, then, yeah, that, that's fucked up. You, you should go and, you know, check your health, mental health. Uh, but as long as there is something maybe not accepted in society. Uh, but, well, if you feel that it's fine, it's comfortable, and it fits your ethics, then that's fine. Don't be ashamed of it. Motivate yourself. Um, there is no such thing like bad motivation. There is no such thing like, uh, oh my god, what my parents or my grandma will think about me if they will see that I'm checking out Travers Bain on, on Instagram and he's living with 30 girls and two wives, one ex-wife and one current wife, and his kids, and there are so many pathological things going on. Uh, there are lots of money, cars, and God knows what else, and it's something like, it's bad motivation, it's something bad to look at. No! God damn it, no, no, it's not for, not for me! Um, you know, this is what motivates me. I see it, someone did it, someone is living life that I would enjoy, in my opinion. Everyone is different. If you don't like it, I truly accept you and, well, even more, I respect you for that. I respect you for that, you know? And even though I'm going to have such a lifestyle, it doesn't mean that I won't be able to help you in some self-development stuff or something like that. That's my goal. That's how I want to live, but each to their own, right? So keep your mind open and let's get to work. There is no such thing like bad motivation, all right? Anything. If some videos, photos, or so, uh, profiles of people who achieved this, what you want to achieve on Facebook, doesn't matter actually what it does show, as long as it's not completely pathological thing, like I'm saying, like killing people, or hurting people, like, you know, if you are following uh, some terrorist organization because you want to become a terrorist, uh, that's something that actually is sick. And yeah, I know some people will say, all right, man, but you are following Dan Bilzerian and you are checking him out on the Facebook page, for example, and that's sick as well. But still, uh, I'm not taking a grenade and sticking up it up to someone's ass or I'm not uh, putting some explosives in a car and I'm not uh, making a huge explosion under some bank or some school. It's not the same thing, all right? Some people may say that actually when, when they are, for example, some people who are Muslims, they may say that uh, bikinis are pathological and sick thing. And that's their culture. They, they are, for example, women that are covering their bodies. Uh, so... You know, each, each to their own, they are, there are so many different cultures and minds and we have to keep open minds um, because everyone is different, right? So there is no such thing like bad motivation and if someone tells you that you shouldn't be watching that because it will make you strange, weird or creepy or something, if that's your goal and as long as it's not hurting other people or animals or doesn't do anything wrong, it's fine. There's no such thing like bad motivation. If it motivates you, if it gives you power to work and achieve your goals, it's fine. So that's what I wanted to tell you. Um, it turned out that it's about 10 minutes long, so yeah. Enough talking for now. Don't forget to comment, subscribe and rate if you want to see more vlogs and other videos from me. Check out my other channels and thank you very much for watching if you kept watching uh, until now, thank you very much, have an awesome day, take care, and don't forget that getting to your goals is one of the most important things in life. See you in another vlog. Bye.